So a couple weeks ago, I bought this 2024 Integra Type S, and one of the things that annoyed me was the mirror. The rear view mirror did not come with home link buttons. So I had to have a garage door, you know, thing clipped up here, and it just looked big and, and dumb. And it, it, it's not a big deal, it's just kind of an annoyance. So I started looking around online to try to figure out a way to get a home link rear view mirror in the car. There is a Civic, from what I've read, there is a Civic mirror that fits and it's just straight plug and play, but it's got a big plastic bezel around it. And I really like the Accord mirror because it's frameless, right? So it does have a bezel, but you can barely see it. It's almost all the way, you know, edge to edge. So I did some looking and on the Integra forums, there were a couple of very helpful uh, posters and I can't remember their names, but they showed how to install a 2023 Honda Accord mirror with Homelink uh, in an Integra. So that's kind of what I'm gonna show you now. As you can see, the mirror is already in here. I did this install and I apologize that I didn't film the whole thing. It was dark last night when I got home and put the mirror in. So as you can see, there are three Homelink buttons and then we also have the button to uh, turn off the auto dimmer. To get this in the car, basically what you're gonna need to do is remove this mirror from this console which involves removing these pieces of plastic on both sides and then this piece of plastic here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then I'm gonna show you how to pull the mirror apart and pull the Accord mirror apart. So you have to have both mirrors apart at the same time. And basically why you need to do that is this stock that connects this mirror to the windshield is different on the Integra than it is on the Accord. So you're going to use the front clamshell and glass from the Accord mirror, the PCB that's inside from the Accord mirror, the rear clamshell from the Accord mirror, but you're going to use the mirror stock and the wiring harness from the Integra mirror. So we're kind of like combining two mirrors into one. Uh, I did a write-up on my website. It's levelmotorsports.us. If you go there, there's a detailed write-up that's more detailed uh, then this video is probably going to be just because it details the whole process and not just the removal of the mirror from the car and the disassembly of both mirrors. But I think this video will be a helpful supplement to that and hopefully it helps uh, some of you guys out who are going to try this. So one of the sketchiest parts of this mod is that you're actually going to have to get some of this trim off and obviously it's going to have to be reused. So you can see this part right here. Um, it's there's two sides and each of these pull outwards to get them off so you can see there's like a split in the middle and one of the easiest ways to get this off and I'm not gonna do it because I already did it and I don't want to break any of these clips if you move the mirror all the way one way you're able to then get this plastic pry tool in here and you can get these on Amazon they're super cheap um, but you can actually get this in here and twist it and pop these off. So if you go in from the passenger side of the car, this is actually the easier uh, way to do it. Uh, and this side will pop off first, and then you can actually use this to stick in and then pop the other side off. So there's two pieces, and then this upper piece, which connects to uh, the roof here. I'm trying to focus with my phone. Um, there's actually two tabs that go in this way. So you don't wanna to try to pry this off because you'll break those tabs. What you wanna do is get under the front of this and then pry it down. So there's um, a tab that goes straight up right here, a tab that goes straight up right here. And when you get under those and pull those down, they'll click and then this whole thing will slide toward the back. So once you get the trim removed, uh, these two pieces and this piece, there will be a connector over here uh, for the mirror. And at the very bottom, there's a center tab and that center tab will push in and then the mirror harness will pull out. So at that point, the only thing left holding this in is the actual mirror stock itself. So what you can do is fold this down or reach underneath it and you'll have more room because these two pieces of plastic won't be here. Grab it by the stem and twist it counterclockwise about 15 degrees, it'll pop, and then you'll be able to pull the whole mirror, including its harness, uh, right away from the windshield. 
So the second sketchy part of this, uh, the plastics in the car you obviously have to reuse. Uh, those are probably pretty cheap uh, from Acura. But if you're buying one of these mirrors, uh, this is the Accord mirror. And this one already has the stock from the Accord in it. Uh, this is actually the mirror of the front and rear pieces that came with the Integra. And as you can see, there's only the button on the bottom that turns on and off auto dimming. So the Accord mirror is gonna have three more buttons here for the uh, garage door opener for the home link. So what you have to do is you have to take your trim removal tool and go in between uh, this. Do not pry on the glass because you'll break it. Uh, the two pieces of plastic are what needs to be separated. So if we go between those, you can kind of work your way across. And sometimes it's easier if you have, you know, multiple things that you can put in between these because then you can actually hold them apart. You can see if you just work your way across, those clips will start to separate and you'll start to get the separation. So then you can just kind of work your way around. And I like to start on the top side because if you do mar something, it's gonna be up against the, the ceiling in the car uh, or against the roof and you're not gonna be able to see it as much. Uh, but if we pry this apart, and just kind of work our way around. Eventually you'll be able to separate the front half from the back half. And again, this mirror has already been separated, so this is gonna be a little bit easier uh, than a new mirror. But you can see once that happens, there's a board in here. Uh, there's a single connector that's plugged in. So if this board starts to come up, just kind of hold it down. And give it a little pry. And you can see this board just kind of sets in here. There's nothing actually holding it in here. There's a couple of these locating pins, uh, but the front half should separate from the back half completely. And then you'll have this plug, so you can set that aside. And then this is the back clamshell. So this connector is the same on the Accord and the Integra, but this portion is not the same and this plug is not the same. So what you're gonna to have to do is move the wiring harness from the Integra into the Accord clamshell. And then you're also gonna to have to move this piece as well. So when you separate, the, when you try to remove this, uh, there's a little, little clamp and I'll show you how it works. This is where it's uh, very important to have something like this like one of these little traveler hooks, because there are tabs you can see on both sides that fit into this hole. And again, this is the Accord, uh, this will be the Accord mirror. The one on the Integra is actually easier because this is a circular post with the same type of things, but they're much easier to push in and they're much easier to see. So you can see we got that out. And then on this side, with this uh, little connector here, there's a little tab. And if you push up, on this tab. Kind of hard to get to. Here we go. Uh, this whole thing, this white part, will separate from the back housing. So on the Accord side, you want this to be, you know, loose like this is disconnected on both sides. And you can actually turn this sideways uh, and feed it through this hole. You want to make sure that hole is lined up. You can actually turn it sideways pull it through this hole and then you can pull the whole thing out. So you're going to want to do that on the Accord side, the Accord mirror and the Acura mirror. Uh, this you will not be reusing for the Accord plug. This is a gray one. I think the entire one is white. Um, and you'll also not be reusing the Accord uh, mirror stem. You'll be using uh, the Acura one. So you'll be using the clamshell from the Accord the front mirror glass from the Accord, and you'll know the difference because there will be four buttons here, three for home link and one for uh, the rear auto dimmer. And then this clamshell is different because there's a hole cut here, but there are also three uh, holes or indentations cut here uh, on the Accord side. So we need to swap this stem out. Uh, this is the Accord stem. Um, like I said, I already did this mod. So this is the Integra mirror, which is why it only has one button but the disassembly process is the same. So the next thing we're gonna to have to do is just take out these four uh, Torx screws, and I'll do that real quick and then come back. 
So once those T10 torque screws are removed, this is what you're gonna end up with. So when you do this, um, obviously this part needs to be separated because this doesn't fit through here and that doesn't fit through there. So this is basically just pressure fitted in here. Uh, there's a little cup and ball action going on. And if you can see, and I'm trying to look through my phone, um, there's an, actually a spring here. So you can reach in here with your hook and pull that spring off of the cup. See, I'm pulling like each of the little little spring coils one by one. You've got to kind of work around this. You have to be careful when you're doing this. I mean, this isn't really going to scratch scratch this up, but you don't want to dig anything up with a hook. Anything inside of here is obviously going to be hidden. Um, but what you want to do is get that off so it's free floating like that, right? So this spring we just got popped off, and now this ball needs to separate from this. So this is just kind of pull it and it'll come off and then you've got this you can pull the mirror stem out and then you've got the spring that's separate so when you do this you're going to use the front mirror from the accord the back clamshell from the accord you're going to use the stem from the integra which looks different than this it's currently in the car you're going to use this from the Integra, and you're going to use the spring from the Integra because this mount uh, fits this ball and this spring. I think, uh, I know for sure the holes are in the same locations on this piece, so that doesn't matter. This should also not matter, but the important part is that you need to use this stem because this isn't going to clip up to the windshield uh, unless it's the Integra piece. These small torque screws, those are the same between both mirrors, so you don't have to worry about getting those confused. You're also going to use the harness from the Integra, uh, which is not this gray one that, that came from the Accord. When you do this, you're gonna to wanna to cut this, uh, this insulation back, and this is like kind of a felt tape stuff. It's kind of, kind of nasty to get to. Uh, be careful you don't cut any wires. I would, I would recommend using a, a, a razor pen knife to cut this back. And you can see on here, uh, there are several colors. These colors all line up between both cars. This plug is exactly the same between both. In the Integra, on the car harness side, there is no 12 volt wire that runs to this pin in this connector uh, for the Homelink module. Uh, yellow wires in Hondas typically 12 volt all the time. It doesn't matter if the ignition is on, off, they're constantly powered. Red wires typically are 12 volts only when the car is running. So what you wanna do is strip this back and strip some insulation from the yellow wire and the red wire somewhere down here so you're still inside the clamshell, right? And then solder those two things together. You wanna to leave this side connected, leave this side connected uh, on both of those. Normally, if there was a yellow wire that was on the car side of this side, you would want to clip this yellow wire here because you wouldn't want to backfeed uh, constant 12 volt into the switched 12 volt rail. Uh, but since there's no 12 volts on the car side in this instance, it doesn't really matter. What this will do is it will power Homelink only when the car is turned on. So to me, that's a good thing. I, if I forget to lock my doors and the car is parked outside the garage, I don't want somebody to be able to open the car door and then open my garage door with Homelink, even though my car is off, uh, even though that's how it's typically designed. I've owned a bunch of cars. Some of them are 12 volts all the time to Homelink. Some of them, Homelink only works when the car is on. If you connect the yellow wire to the red wire, effectively what you're doing is feeding switched 12 volt to the Homelink module when the car is running. And for me, that works. If you don't want that, you could run a wire from the yellow wire in the Integra harness to a constant 12 volt wire within the car. Uh, the Homelink doesn't pull enough juice for it to drain your battery really quickly. A lot of cars just operate that way anyway. Uh, but for me, the easiest thing to do was to strip this back 
connect, you know, strip a little insulation off of each. I actually ran a small piece of wire. I like um, didn't cut the wires. I just pulled the insulation back, but they're, they're stranded wire. So you can kind of make a little loop in each one. And I ran a small piece of wire through, wrapped it around just to make sure, uh, soldered them together, put some electrical tape over it, and then rewrapped this whole uh, thing with felt tape, which you can also get on Amazon very cheaply. So the, the harness that's in the car now looks very factory. When you go to put this back together, there is a trick to it. So you've got your stem that needs to go back through. This is the Accord stem. Obviously, you're going to use the Integra stem with the Integra clamshell. Uh, when you put this back through, and again, you can bend this a little bit here. Make sure you run it through the ball like this. You're going to want to put the ball through the mirror. And what I was doing originally was I was putting this on and then I was snapping this part on and then trying to get that spring over this collar. That did not work. So what you're going to want to do is just take this, take this, put this down, put this ball. And if you notice, there is one end of this that's open more than the other. So if, I don't know if you can tell, but this uh, part of the spring kind of goes down like this. So this is stuck out more than the coils at the bottom. What you're going to want to do is take that, the open part of it, and feed it onto this thing, push it on, and then grab this tool and make sure it's pushed up as far as you can. See how that went up a little bit more? That went up a little bit more. So this has some grooves in it, so that'll help you out. So push that up as far as you can. If you don't do that, it's gonna be harder to snap the ball in. So now that we have this assembled, and we have our ball here, what we can do is pull this harness through there. And this is the Accord mirror, and I'm not gonna use this for anything, so I'm obviously not being careful with it. If it's your internal, you know, your Integra mirror, you wanna be careful with this, not just banging around on the workbench because you don't wanna screw it up. Um, but what you can do now is press this and snap this ball into this thing. And I was not strong enough to do this with my hands. So if you notice, I found this little trick. Um, if you notice, there are two little nubs that stick out of there. Obviously, you don't want to break that. So what I did is I set this on the edge of my workbench. And I held this like this. And I hit this with a rubber mallet. And that popped the ball in. Just like that. So you can see now this is popped in. You have tension right on this coupler. And then you can go back and line these up, put the four screws back in. All right, so once you have all those screws screwed in, you have to put this thing back. So again, remember our tab there. You just kind of pull this, line it up with the, there's two tabs on the side and then one tab on the top. That should click into place. Then you can kind of give this a little tug and this should line up with the connector when you go to snap these back together and shut this face. And remember this board uh, is just sitting in here with locating pins. Uh, there's no screws or anything holding it down. So be careful with that. On the other side, on the Integra, again, this looks slightly different, but you can see the natural bend in the cable of where it wants to go uh, to clip back in. This is gonna be the same thing uh, on the Integra, but this plug is white. And this cord is a lot longer, so that's why you can't uh, use the cord, not only because the cord's too short, but the plug is different uh, on the Integra side. And then when you're done doing that, to put this back together, you can see when we, when we put these back together, uh, those two connectors will interface with each other. So you just kinda wanna line those up and then give it a quick snap and your mirror's back together. So when you do this, you can put it back in the car. Again, when you connect it to the windshield again, uh, there's a locating pin that's going to be on the bottom. So make sure that's on the same side as your buttons. And then you will 
plug this in and give it a quick like 15 degree turn and you'll hear it snap back into place. <laughs> 